committee will come to order. We're asking all the audience now to either take their seats and be quiet or please leave. Okay, would you, we're asking you again to please sit down and if not, we're gonna ask you to leave. No, thank you, thank you for. Our special forces advisors, I'm looking for trainers, I'm looking for tankers, I'm looking for ISR and I'm looking for strike aircraft. Chuck Hagel said a priority would be to attack the Islamic State leadership. Topping the target list is the self-styled Caliph Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Key to the military success of Islamic State, though, are his two deputies, Abu Muslim al-Turkmani, a former colonel under Saddam Hussein, who oversees the Iraqi provinces, and Abu Ali al-Anbari, another former colonel and former intelligence officer who heads up the Security Council and oversees Syria. Beneath them is a cabinet of about six men, and because IS has pretensions to statehood, it's divided into 12 provinces under governors and nine other councils which function like ministries. Leaders in any of these areas will be targeted, much like the operations that has removed the Taliban and Al-Qaeda top brass. But this means attacking targets inside Syria, which so far has been vetoed by Russia at the UN Security Council. And even if legal top cover was found, attacking Islamic State would not put an end to Bashar al-Assad's reign of terror. 200,000 dead over three years and millions driven from their homes. Attacking Islamic State risks empowering Assad and painting him as an ally, an opportunity not to be missed by Syria. ISIS uh, uh, is uh, uh, fighting its war uh, against people in both uh, Iraq and uh, Syria. The uh, fight against terrorism uh, should include uh, all those countries uh, who uh, have suffered the uh, effects of uh, the terrorist actions of the ISIS.